When it's cold outside, you should be able to seek refuge in a warm, cosy home. Those of us on a tight budget might find it difficult to keep the heating on, but it doesn't have to be that way. Make your money for fuel go further by spending it wisely. Use this 10-step checklist to prepare for winter. Number one, bleed your radiators. Trapped air reduces the efficiency of your heating system because the air pockets prevent the warm water from filling the top part of your radiator. Letting the air escape means you'll need less energy for the desired heat output. Number two, flush your radiators. Over time, sludge can build up and settle in radiators. If your radiators aren't as warm as they used to be and have noticeable cold spots in the middle and bottom, consult a heating engineer to flush the system. They might add a corrosion inhibitor to help prevent future sludge buildup. For extra protection, you may want to consider having a magnetic filter installed. 3. Service your boiler regularly. Having a gas safe registered engineer give your boiler a once over every year helps keep it performing at its best. By catching small problems before they become big and expensive, a service may also help prolong the life of the boiler and may be a condition of your warranty. You'll also have peace of mind that it's safe to use. Number four, control the heat. Thermostats, timers, programmers, thermostatic radiator valves are just a handful of devices that can help you get the most out of your heating system. For every one degree the thermostat is turned down, you could save £80 a year on fuel. If you have storage heaters, you'll have input and output switches to regulate the amount of heat that's stored overnight. Use cheap fuels. Mains gas is, on average, three to four times cheaper than electricity. If you have a gas boiler, use it instead of relying on room heaters to keep you warm. Six. Compare energy tariffs. Price comparisons are a great way to save hundreds of pounds with a click of a button. For simple switches, five minutes is all you need. If you have more complex needs, like if you have a smart meter, a three-rate tariff, or low income with the chance of getting a warm home discount, our team of energy advisors can walk you through the steps using an off-gem accredited switching site. Number seven, get discounts. Some of these discounts are automatic, like the winter fuel payment and cold weather payment, but the warm home discount worth £140 is only automatic for those getting guaranteed pension credit, so long as their electricity supplier subscribes to the scheme. People on a low income may also be eligible, but this varies. Number 8 keep condensation at bay. Many homes in the UK are affected by damp conditions, the most common of which is condensation. Condensation makes heating a home more difficult and expensive because damp surfaces and soft furnishings absorb more of the available heat from the air. Check out our short video on how to prevent condensation. Number nine, check your insulation. An uninsulated home will lose about 35% of heat through the walls. Twice this if the wall is solid. 25% through the roof and 10 through the windows. Keep the heat where it's intended to be by topping up loft insulation and installing cavity or solid wall insulation. For a typical property, it will only take a few years to repay the investment. Government schemes may help fund the cost of these upgrades, even for private tenants. And finally, upgrade your heating system. Not all boilers are created equal. New technology in the form of condensing gas boilers has seen efficiencies rise over the last 20 years. Storage heaters have also recently been given a makeover with smart controls and a more insulated core to reduce heat waste and renewables like heat pumps and solar panels are gaining popularity, especially as prices come down. Government schemes can potentially help fund these upgrades depending on your situation. Whatever your circumstances, don't be left without heating or hot water. Ask our advisors for free advice and support. We're here to help.